And the daily Catholic Bible reading takes us to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. Don't be surprised that we jumped to Matthew from Luke. Why? Because this is the feast of St. Matthew today. A special day for the church. The feast day of one of the Gospel writers. And the Gospel reading today says, As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. had a unique taxation system. Uh, Hindi sila nagsiset up. They don't set up their tax offices in the countries that they invade. Instead, they privatize the work with the highest bidder. So, as long as the Roman Empire gets the agreed amount, the tax collectors like Matthew can, on their own, collect practically any amount. So, the tax collectors are hated because they're seen as the one as thieves that rob you in broad daylight. They're not just unpatriotic, they're robbers. They had no conscience. They were seen so horribly wicked and religious leaders, even religious leaders banned them from entering the synagogues. They cannot pray. Hindi sila makapasok sa simbahan. That's why. When Jesus called Matthew and loved him and made him an apostle, that was mind-blowing for everybody. As if they were saying, they were rolling their eyes and they were saying, Naku, ano na naman to? And you know the wild thing? The former outcast became a gospel writer. Isn't that lovely? You know, my friend, are you being treated like Matthew today? Are you rejected as somebody rejected you? Uh, exchange you for someone else? Somebody told you you're, you're not good enough? Somebody's telling you today you're a failure and you're not accepted? That you can never change? Hindi ka pwedeng magbago? You need to hear this message of the gospel today. God is doing something new in your life if you would allow Him to. In the same way he raised up Matthew, the seemingly hopeless Matthew, he will raise you up today to write another gospel, not with ink and paper, but the good news, to write the good news with your words and deeds in a story called Your Life. Babaguhin ni Lord ang buhay mo. At gagawa ka ng isang mabuting kwento. And you will start today, allow Jesus to do that. And you know, this is what I've learned in the gospel today. Because every saint has a dark past. Then every sinner has a bright future. I'll say that again. Because every sinner has a dark past. Then every sinner has a bright future. In Jesus Christ. So that's you and me, my friend. We have a bright future in Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is John Escoto saying, you are so loved today.